this is going to be a little short video, but I just wanted to share with everybody how my tomatoes are going. So, um, I'll just see, we'll lift up one so you guys can see how, how well that one's developing. As that one looks just like a tomato. And then we've got some down here that are developing. Um, I don't know that you can see them that well, but we've got some ones that are developing down there. And let me see where else I have. Oh yeah, we got one down there too. And I think on the other end we've got one that's starting to develop as well. Um, so I've got about a good portion. Um, we've also got some little ones. Um getting ready to develop here so you can see little tiny ones there um, and then I will be getting these ones ready to go um, and then like I said we've got a little tiny one um, that's just um, I don't know if you can see it there but it's just barely growing there um, and then we've got blooms starting to open up for the cherry tomatoes. Um, they're doing really well. Um, now, I did the one thing that you're not really supposed to do <laughs> in the hair garden and not let um, all the seeds grow up in the same pod. But I wanted to do that just to see an experiment to see um, how well these guys would work at supporting each other and everything. And so far, um, right now, everything's going pretty good. Um, I've gave them a thing that I'm going to show you that works really well um, to feed and set up the arrow garden. And that is CalMag Plus, Calcium, Magnesium, and Iron um, 2.0 supplement. And uh, you put water in that, and that works really well for the tomato plants. And you can also add liquid dirt um, if you think they're not getting enough other kinds of nutrients. Um, but uh, I've been using that for these guys and they really enjoy it. And as you can see, I've got whole new limbs and growth. And this guy is doing really good. I've got two spouts of buds there. And uh, so, like I said, I'm going to let this guy do his job. Open up on them buds so I can hopefully get some good uh, flowers and, and get them going so I can get them all nice and pretty. Um, and there's definitely some older leaves that I'll have to definitely clip off because they're starting to get old. But, you know, it's, it's you know, not, not bad. So, anyway, uh, they're doing really good. Each, each guy is taking off. I've got new leaf growth here. As you can see, plants are doing pretty healthy. Um, really, really taking off. Um, so I really suspect that I will have very, very good uh, tomato plants um, in the future. And then my next thing is to get another arrow garden going so I can have uh, lettuce and stuff growing on it. And get salad greens because um, I'm all about um, getting different things growing so that I can uh, not have to go to the store so much. Um, so my next project will be definitely to get another air garden, air garden for salad greens. Have a whole thing full of tomatoes. Maybe I'll have strawberries. Uh, I'm not for sure yet. Um, could even start off with some bell poppers next year. Who knows? Um, but like I said, out of the three or four or five tomatoes that I got growing, I'm pretty impressed. Some was self-pollinated, uh, some I used the Harmon spray, and I'll show you what the, what that does. This, this, this here is called Tomato Blossom Set, and it is good if you don't have any pollinators to help you out. Um, especially if you're growing these things in the arrow garden. Or, let's say, for example, you got tomato plants outside and um, you don't have enough pollinators to get your pollen out. That This stuff will help. 
Um, now it may not help in hot temperatures, but in 70 to 80 degree weather, it's definitely good for that.